guys. So this is going to be a voiceover of my most recent ride on Tipsy. This day in particular was a fairly windy day. It was around 60 degrees and Tipsy was especially spooky this day. I did 20 minutes of groundwork prior and in the video about 20 minutes of walk work and a little bit of trot. Not much trot at all, but I just wanted her to be nice and relaxed and it was a process. So in this clip right here, I'm trying to get Tipsy to turn to the left because she can kind of plant her feet and not want to move. And she does spook in a second and she spooks to the side. I did end up sticking the spook, but she was just a bit spooky and scared of a lot of things that day. And it's perfectly fine. I'm just trying to help her work through it. So as you can see, she does scoot to the side right there, and I do give her a little scratch and some pats, not necessarily to reward the behavior, but just kind of reassure her, like, you're okay, you're fine, you're not going to die, <laughs> nothing is going to eat you. And there was a lot of stuff going on, like there was people banging on wood down below, it was super windy, she's also in heat, which makes her especially more uppity and a little bit more spicy. And then there was like bags in the corner of the ring or like behind the ring that she was scared of and just a lot going on. So she struggled to keep her brain in her head and her nerves under control for a lot of the ride. But that's why I did mainly walking just to try to get her moving forward and not spooking. So here is when she starts to try to plant her feet a little bit. And I'm trying to get her to move forward. She's a pretty sensitive horse and she's lazy, but also she's hot. So just trying to get her to relax as much as possible, which is easier said than done with her. So she did end up stopping right here, but I know she wanted to look at something because there were geese flapping their wings down below. In this clip right here is actually some footage of us getting a fairly calm walk. She definitely still has tension in her body, but she actually has a very nice walk when she wants to. She is very soft in the mouth in the walk, and she tries to stretch down and seek the bit a little bit more. It's just very tough for her because she is such a nervous horse, but I will just shut up and you guys can see her walking quietly in this clip. In this clip, she does have a baby spook, but it's really just like a couple quiet trot steps just because she hears a noise and gets a little bit scared. So I tried not to grab her mouth and just sit it a little bit so she can just go quietly. In some of the spooks, I do accidentally grab her mouth. I'm still getting to know her, and I don't really know exactly how she's going to spook. Usually, this is the most amount of spooking that she's had under saddle, so I'm just trying to get used to it. So unfortunately, in a couple of the spooks, I do grab her mouth, but I really don't mean to when I try to release as soon as I find my balance back. And we did turn to go the other direction here. She tripped there, and I think she spooked herself when she tripped. She's just a funny little horse, and I think she will relax as she gets more mileage and as she ages a little bit because she is only four. And here's another trip and spook. Here I am just trying to send her forward in the walk a little bit, trying to get her to relax and seek the bit a little bit more. I'm trying to just have a contact on her mouth but not hang on it. And here she decides to plant her feet and I'm trying to make her go forward because she just does that a lot and <laughs> she tried to do it again. And I'm just trying to get her to move on. And then once I did get a forward response from her, I did scratch her withers and just tell her she's a very good girl. In this clip, I am doing Tipsy's first serpentine. I've never done a serpentine with her before. It is very ugly. It's not the best one, but this is just so I can get her thinking and bending a little bit and just trying to relax a little bit more and focus on what we're doing under saddle and not just spooking at other things going the other way. So here I'm just turning her the other way and you will see she will have a couple stops here and there, but for the most part, she was a very good girl. She did try to stop right here. So I'm just trying to move her forward, put my hands forward on her neck and she did move 
forward. How many times can I say forward throughout this video? Take a shot. Actually, please don't because I don't want you to die because I said it so many times. And I'm just trying to turn her the other direction and get her a little more focused and just get her walking calmly. And I'll probably shut up for the rest of this clip until she actually does have a little spook towards the end of it. But she was fairly good for it, just a bit distracted. I don't know what set her off right here. Probably loud banging in the background or something, but she got a little bit spooked, tossed her head and tried to drag me down a little bit. And I tried to stay off her mouth as much as possible and just sit nice and deep. And then once I told her she was like nothing to worry about, I did scratch her neck and move her on forward. And here she is spooking a little bit more. So I'm just trying to let her work through it, push her on and she will get used to it. But she is just a little bit wiggly and spooky at the moment. And here I am trying to get her to pick up the trot. I do this weird like half sitting, half posting just because she's kind of bouncy and just like feels like riding a worm. And her sitting trot is fine when she is listening, but she's just so wiggly this day. And she does have a spook right here. And I did accidentally grab her face because I did lose my balance and I was really just trying to sit back. But as soon as I found my balance again, I did release her mouth and give her a pet to kind of just show her like, you're fine. And then here is a better trot where I still do that weird like half sitting, half posting. But I was trying to get her to listen to my aids a little bit and move off of my seat. So you'll see me do a couple transitions of walk couple strides a trot and then immediately back to the walk. She gets a little bit strong right here and a little head high. So I just sat deep and then I put my hands nice and forward when I asked her to come to the walk. And here she immediately came back to me as soon as I sat deep and she did a couple strides a trot. And then when I sat deep, she went into the walk and that's exactly what I was asking for. So I actually just got off right here. She didn't work up a sweat or anything. So I did walk her around on foot for a little bit, but she was really good for the ride for the most part. She just needs to get her little baby brain <laughs> under control and just work through things, which I'm sure she will. And we will work together as a partnership better as we get to know each other. The next few clips are Tipsy and I's first outing at an obstacle training, and they're not the best clips, but I just thought I would include them because it was our very first time going off property together, and I was honestly so impressed with her. She was very brave and pretty calm through the most of the time. You gonna chomp it? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, we're so smart. So smart. What are you doing? 